How do I hide this bitch? Did, oh, there we go. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the very first episode of Operation Fabrication. So, what I want to do with this channel is I want to do kind of a Photoshop, not necessarily a tutorial, but kind of a Frankenstein's lab type thing where we just take two things or however many things and we kind of combine them and make some, frankly, some weird shit. <laughs> so, um,. So eventually, whenever, hopefully, if I have subscribers in the future, I want to take like suggestions from the comments or I might start like an Instagram or Twitter where you people can post suggestions. And so I'll take suggestions from you guys and I'll combine them or I'll pick one that's good or I'll pick a few and I'll combine them together and I'll, we'll make this kind of video of me combining it however I feel like and hopefully we'll get something funny, something cool. I really, these are probably mostly going to be like some weird, funny kind of things more entertainment purposes, but I also kind of want it to be uh, kind of a learning experience, kind of an interaction learning thing where you can take away like some techniques or stuff that I'm using. Um, I want to record most of what I do. I might have to speed through some parts because some of it's kind of long and monotonous. Like, you'll, we'll, we'll figure it out when we get there, but um, yeah, so I kind of want to show you how to do some things as well so you can take some things away. I kind of taught myself how to use Photoshop back in like, I don't know, middle school. And I'm a graphic designer now, so I don't get to do a lot of photo man manipulation just in my work. Um, it's mostly like logos and like flyers and stuff like that. Um, but photo manipulations are kind of what got me started. It's what I love to do. So I thought I'd make a channel about it, you know, have some fun. I know some other YouTubers have done videos like this, but I haven't really found a channel where it's kind of the main focus is this. So I kind of wanted to do something like that, and we'll see how it goes. Um, <clears throat> so since I don't have any subscribers right now, um, I went ahead and used some random word generators online. I actually already started this video and got started with it, and my recorder crashed. So, this is take two. Hopefully it works out. So I found, um, I wanted to start with an animal, so I got an animal generator, and I got parrot. So I'm going to start with a parrot, and then I used a noun generator, and I got a crab. So I got two animals. So we're going to go ahead and put them together and make a crab parrot or a parrot crab or a parrot with crabs. Probably not that, but you get the point. Um, so I went ahead and got two stock images already. Got a nice little parrot there. And we got a crab. Um, so I'm going to use the parrot as a base. Um, I want this, the area a little wider. I don't want these black spaces because I want room for like, I want to put some claws on this guy, some crab claws. So, I mean, the best way... I usually use like a stamp tool and kind of fill it in myself because I, I have more control. But Photoshop has this kind of cool content aware feature. Um, and I'll show you that. So you just highlight. I'm going to make a duplicate layer actually so I don't ruin it if I need to go back to anything. Um, so I'm going to go to edit, fill, I think. Content aware. I do normal, passive. Okay. And that just hopefully, yeah, it fills it kind of pretty good. Um, Pretty good, actually. Um, so how I would normally do this, it's kind of more like time consuming, is you go to this stamp thing over here, the stamp tool, and you can take pieces from it, from like the original, and you can paint, paint it in. Um, it takes a little more time, so I'm just going to do that again, because that worked pretty well. Um, it doesn't always work that great. <laughs> yeah, see, so we got uh, the parrot head floating in there. Kind of creepy. We're gonna get rid of that. This is uh, what is it? Patch tool, I think. Patch tool. Yeah. So I'm just gonna select this, and again, you can use the stamp tool for this too. Um, so I'm just gonna highlight that area, click and drag over, like say right here, and then hopefully it kind of just fills in. It takes from the area around it and fills in it. It's a little blurry, kind of splotchy around here. We can clean that up if we need to or if we want to. But I'm just gonna leave it because we're—I mean—we're not gonna win any awards with this shit, right? So we'll work with what we got. Um, so I'm gonna go to this crab. I want to pull like some of these claws off and make this thing look kind of creepy. Um, something you want to don't want to see flying around your backyard. Um, so I'm just gonna—it's already cut out for me, so that's nice. Uh, so I'm just gonna steal some claws off of this guy. Um, uh, okay, select the layer. Pull this over. Let's put it like right. I don't know. Something like this. Yeah. Something like something like something like. I want some overlap actually. So let's do 
right there. Uh, da -da -da. So I want to blend this. I'm going to make a layer mask, which is right here. Um, a clipping mask. I can never remember the names. That's how great I am. Uh, so I'm going to do a mask. That way we're not deleting anything. We can always go back. Um, so whenever you make a mask, it's going to put this kind of white layer right here. And then whatever you paint black, as long as you have this layer selected, it's going to get rid of things. And then if you go back to white, you can fill it back in. So I'm just going to paint out some of this area just so we can get um, blend it a little bit better. And then we can do uh, some shadows. So how I like to do shadows is, I mean, there's a burn tool over here where you can kind of darken things, but there's not really a way to undo it if you mess up. Or at least, I mean, you can undo, but if you go like ahead and then later on in the future, you'd be like, if you realize that you don't like it, you can't really go back. Um, so I like to do, um, go down here and hit curves and then just make a really dark, dark kind of version or layer. And then, so you got, it obviously looks terrible, but you can reverse invert this clipping mask layer and then you can go to your white and you can paint the shadows in. I'm going to use like a really low exposure, um, really soft brush and then you can just go down here. We'll make this brush a little smaller and you can kind of paint in. I'm on the wrong layer. No, I'm not. Uh, so we'll go above 10 because it's a little not working for us. So yeah, we'll brush it in. It's not working. Not working. What am I missing? What am I missing? Exposure. 100%. Okay, that's why. I'm an idiot. Okay, so I'm still on the br <laughs> the burn tool. I need to go back to the paintbrush. Um, <laughs> make sure this is low. Go down to 18. It's probably fine. And then we can just brush in kind of this area here underneath the claw. And it's see how it's going over the claw. Don't want that. I could drag it underneath. Actually, that's probably the best way to do it. Um, so we'll just do that. Put it underneath the claw layer so it's not actually hitting it because we don't want to darken that. It's probably a bit much, but it's fine. Um, yeah, so now we got this little claw here. <clears throat> Let's go to another one. I'm going to put it like right. Let's see. I'm just going to do it right there. It's fine. Um, so we're going to want to delete everything over the wing because that doesn't look right. Uh, so just going to put another clipping mask on this. Text message is bothering me. Okay, so black layer is going to get rid of it. I'm going to turn the opacity back up to 100%. And then I'm just going to brush out all of this stuff. So it's like tucked under his wing there. We don't get too close to the wing. Um, I think it'll work after. I want to add some shadows to it. Um, so we're going to actually put this one under the wing. <clears throat> or the claw. Or the. We're going to put the claw under the curve layer so we can paint in some shadows on it. So let's go back down to where we had 18. We'll do 19. I don't care. And we'll brush over. Actually, we got the hardness up too high still. This is going to be kind of a rough channel. It's the first episode. <laughs> We're still making mistakes. All right. And I'm on the wrong layer again. See, we're going to make a lot of mistakes. Okay, so we want to be on the curve layer. <laughs> and we're going to brush over this a little bit. Just make it a little darker. And I know I'm going over the wing, too. We'll clean that up after. It's probably still too... Clicking on the wrong shit. Okay. I'm going to switch back to black. I'm going to go to opacity full. I'm going to go to hardness. Hardness is down. And I'm just going to paint away everything where the wing is. Because we don't need that to be darker. All right? Okay. And then I'm going to add some more shadows to um, this claw. Just because it's over the rest of the fur. Um, I don't want to do that. Go down to opacity to 18. I'm going to actually... Make a new one? No, oh, okay, we'll just do it this way. 
So we'll kind of go over. I want to actually turn the, the hardness back down all the way to zero because it's getting a little too. Uh, Yeah, I guess it's good enough. Brush out some of the area. Actually, we can go to we can actually command and then click on this layer, and you can go to. I don't want to do it to this area because that's where our shadow is. God. Okay, remove this area, and then I'm just gonna. What is it? Option. Option delete, and it gets rid of the shadows on top of it. Okay, cool. Did something right. <laughs> um, so that's that works, I think. It's a little dark. It's a little too. Meh. I'm gonna go over with a a really low opacity, really low hardness, really soft brush, and I'm just gonna like actually probably lower than eight because we used eighteen, like five. I'm just gonna brush over it a little bit so it kind of goes away. Um, so it's a little better. Am I doing this right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, so it's working. Um, just do a little more because I think it's too bright. Okay. So you can also do like a. I mean, you could click this layer and we could do a drop shadow. But, I mean. Drop shadow is going to go off of like an, a certain angle, so everything you put a drop shadow on, it's going to go from that angle, which makes sense because you're, I mean, it's going to go from the source of light, but it's just you have more control over a when you do the curves layer. I think, anyways, I don't know. You do what you want, man. <laughs> okay, so now we got this. We got one tucked under. We got one on top. So I kind of wanted to have like some creepy ass like claw sticking out of his back you know so let's do some of that um, I'll take this one up here and we'll cut it out da -da -da -da. Take it back here um, I kind of want it like just sticking out like that you know what I mean we'll make like Three of these. Here, I'm just gonna brush out around the parrot body, and I'm just gonna go ahead and do that real quick for all of them. All right. I'm gonna put some shadows on this. Actually, you know, this is kind of cheating, but we could just remove a, like a low opacity of like around the bottom. It's gonna fade it out. That way it gives kind of the appearance of it um, fading. What am I working on? I'm working on this one. Okay. So you can like fade it out. So our background's dark, so it's gonna give that appearance that it's kind of going darker. Um, not a really good technique to use a lot because if there's like stuff in the background it's going to show up but since we just kind of have this dark color it's going to work for us right now. Um, there's something in here that I'm missing right there. Okay so I'll brush that out after I'm done with this. Um, Passy 100%. Let me just get rid of all this in here. That's not right. Jesus. Okay. Layer, clipping mask layer, brush that out. All right, now we got this creepy ass parrot spider crab thing. Um, I'm just gonna be lazy and if you hold on option and click and drag, you can duplicate this. And then I'm just gonna edit, transform, and then flip horizontal. And we can just make another kind of layer of this. We're gonna have to do like a lot of brushing out though which is fine, I guess. <laughs> um, make sure these are all behind. Okay, so let's do that. Does the right angle? How would this be? They'd probably be more like uh, right 
there, right? Is that just me? I don't know. Fuck it. Let's go. Okay, start with this one. Make sure our this is down capacity. Blah, blah, blah. Move all of this. It's gonna kind of look like it's going out of his head, but you know what? That's okay. Also, I mumble a lot, so you might not be able to hear me. I don't have good recording stuff. I said that already, I think. So bear with me for now. If this thing takes off, I'll invest in some better stuff. But for now, I just want to focus on Photoshop. Um, so there's that. It's gonna. It looks a little weird right now, like he's got a horn. But I think if we add some shadows, that will look okay. Um, so I'm gonna do this one now. All right, here's your creepy ass crab parrot. What else can we do with this? Um, honestly, when I'm done with these, um, <clears throat> we could either like end it and move on to something else, or if you guys have suggestions how you want to make it better, you can do that too. Um, I'm kind of open for whatever here. Um, so whatever you guys want, let me know. Okay, well, I think I'm just going to end it there? No. We're going to put in some baby parrot crabs. <laughs> so I just put it pretty much did the same thing that I did with this. Just made it a little smaller. Um, I could blend this better, give them feet, but yeah, we'll just end it right there. Might crop it up a bit. Maybe. Maybe. Crop it up. Crop it up. Alright. I'm just going to end this. Again, if you want me to add anything to this, let me know. If you want me to do something else, leave some comments. Um, like and subscribe. <laughs> um, try to build a little fan base here so we can actually get some good uh, suggestions and things. Keep this thing going. Um, this one was pretty simple. We didn't do too much stuff, but uh, yeah, I want to grow this, make it bigger, do some more intricate stuff. Uh, I just need your guys' help with that. Um, let me know what you want to see. I'm rambling now. Um, have a great weekend, and I will see you next time.